To write the formula for zinc hydroxide, we go to the periodic table and we look up zinc. The element symbol for zinc is Zn. And then hydroxide, this is one you should memorize. This is a polyatomic ion and it's OH minus. So we have zinc, that's a metal, and then the hydroxide, that's a group of nonmetals. This is an ionic compound and we need to think about the charges when we write the formula for zinc hydroxide. Zinc is a transition metal, but it's kind of a special one. Zinc always has an ionic charge of two plus. We said the hydroxide was one minus. So these charges, they need to add up to zero, but they don't right now. So we can change the subscripts to make that happen. We can move the one over here and the two over here. We don't write the one by convention. Let's get rid of this. And we do need to put parentheses around the hydroxide like this. So we have two of these hydroxides. So this is the formula for zinc hydroxide. Let's check our work though. We said zinc is an exception for the transition metals. It's always two plus. Hydroxide was one minus. Two hydroxides, two times one minus, that's two minus one of the zincs and it's two plus. So these add up to zero, the net charge is zero, and this is the correct formula for zinc hydroxide. We'll clean it up and that is the formula for zinc hydroxide. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.